Hey everybody, this is Tambio and I'm back with another Transformers video review. And this time I have Transformers Generations Crosscut. And as you can see, once again, this is a series that comes along comes with a figure and a comic book, which is really awesome. I enjoy having a comic book with my figure. So hopefully they'll keep this going with future releases that they do. So we'll take a look at the package real quick. Um, on the back, you can see... Here's Crosscut in his robot mode and his vehicle mode, along with his bio. And then we have his, uh, his technical data, and he is really intelligent. <clears throat> and then, um, actually, he's he was actually supposed to be in a line with Tankor and um, Rat Trap, but got pushed back to the next series of figures. So... Um, that's why the numbers are kind of out of order. If you look at it, it goes 15 and 17 for uh, Tank Horn Rat Trap, and he's number 16. So it actually goes 16 in this wave, then 18, 19, and 20. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy out of his packaging and check him out. Alright, and I'm back, and I have Crosscut out of his packaging and in his vehicle mode. Along with him, inside the package, you do get the comic, and I'm... Um, I'm not going to show that off. Uh, if you want to check out the comic, go ahead and buy the figure yourself. And his two weapons. So he has this larger rifle, and then he has a smaller pistol. And like before, you can combine the two guns together to make a larger kind of assault rifle thing. Weird. Looks like it's dirty. So a little backstory on Crosscut. Crosscut, in the G1, he was actually released as a e-hobby exclusive in 2002 and he was a remold of skids which basically this guy is a repaint of the generation skids also so that's where that comes from and that's how you get those figures and and such so I would actually go as far to say keep an eye out for a green version of this guy to come out at some point uh, which would be called Screech so <clears throat> alright so uh, just real quick um, it's a, a gray version of him uh, with, uh, you know, some nice shiny red paint apps and such, and they did a really good job on it. Um, like before, you can see where the shiny red comes in right here. There's a couple of things that I'll show you with the feet that I have problems with. So, really quickly, we'll get into transformation, because it's, you know, it's the same exact figure, and I'm not going to... That, and then we'll take and rotate the legs down like that and add you probably heard it clip um, so we'll take the feet rotate that around and then push this one down I don't think it's this one I think it's the other foot that does it so have, yeah it's this foot this one right here has problems with wanting to uh, pop out of the uh, right here for some reason it doesn't connect in there very well um, see so yeah, how you can see how it's pushing the foot apart it maybe if I um, take and maybe get something and make that hole a little bit larger maybe it'll stay in but it just doesn't want to stay in like this um, maybe I can do it for both sides it just doesn't seem to if you look at the feet, you can see that one, there's not a lot of gappage, and on this one there is. There's a lot of a lot of gappage on that one. See, not a lot, and there's a lot. So. Right. Gonna flip those down. And you want to untab these forearms from this portion right here. Just want to bring these apart. There it goes, and those apart. And then you want to take this, rotate this down, and you can flip out the head. I think the head is a new head sculpt. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. 
I'm going to rotate around that and see there's the head again. So I don't know if you saw that earlier. I may have been out of frame. I do apologize about that. Uh, if anything's out of frame, you can check out Skid's review to uh, fill in any of the missing pieces. So, to, uh, oh, dang it. so to pop these, um, just like before, all that automatically popped up because it was pushed all the way down. But I like before, oh, dang it, sorry about this. Um, like before, the, uh, the guns do have the same gimmick that if you press it all the way down, then they flip up, and then you can press it up to put it on the back, like before, and then... Flip all that stuff out, flip the head up. This one seems to be very back heavy. I don't have as much problems with uh, the loose ankles as I did with my skids. So that's that's nice, but still, there we go. That's what I didn't do. And there's a crosscut in his robot form now. And as I said before, if there was anything that was out of frame, I'm sorry about that. And just check out skids video and you should be able to see everything in there. Um, the two guns, like I said before, you can um, one in one hand, one in the other. Or you can combine them together to make um, two guns. Or to, to make one larger gun. <laughs> Sorry. And he looks pretty good. I... Um can't really say which one I like the best. I like that his Autobot logo is a little bit larger than uh, than Skids. And, and looking on my shelf, I can see that Skids has a different head sculpt. So it is a new head sculpt, which is awesome that they at least did something like that instead of just using the same figure over again. Which this line has a lot of figures that have been used over again. Three out of the four in this line were repaints and one of them had a little bit of remolding on him so for articulation real quick I'm gonna go through this because it's same as skids uh, heads on a ball joint up and down left and right um, forward back and that's in a ball joint inside there so it's really weird because so you, you can't go all the way up on it it's, it's kinda kinda hinders it a little bit then you have a ball joint right here so you can turn the arm or bend it at the elbow so he has a waist swivel right here um, it's a ball joint at the hip, so forward back a little bit, but it's hindered. Um, again, I didn't. There's a swivel right here. Then he has his, sorry, his knee joint is right here, and it's a very strong ratchet. So then you have a ball joint right here for the foot, so you can do some tilts on it. You can move it up, down, uh, such like that. I thought originally it wasn't. Some of it is kind of loose depending on where you go and how you're in there. So um, probably some clear fingernail polish would be a good idea. Or I think somebody said something about like furniture polish, I think, also. Um, which I thought was weird and I haven't tried it yet, so I have no idea. So that's pretty much going to do it for my review of Transformers Generations Crosscut. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambiota, and I'll see you next time.